Welcome to STAB exam forum. We have come up with previous year questions of ISRO assistant exam that was held in year 2016 and the section which we will be covering today is general awareness. Okay, so let's begin this session and the first question is on your screen and your time starts now. The question says the Kakra Par Atomic Power Station is located in which of the following states? So these are the four options. So let's see one by one. So in Rajasthan, there is one power station called Red Rajasthan Atomic Power Station. Okay, Rajasthan Atomic Power Station. In Gujarat, this Kakra Par Atomic Power Station is there. So this is the correct answer. It is situated in Surat city. Okay, in Maharashtra, there is one famous atomic power station called Tarapur. Okay, and uh, one more important power station is in UP, it is called Narora Power Station. Okay, Narora Atomic Power Station, it is in UP, and one more important power station of India is in Tamil Nadu, and its name is Kalpakkam. Okay, Kalpakkam. Okay, so for this particular question, option B is the right answer. Gujarat. In Gujarat, Kakrapar Atomic Station is located. Okay, let's see the next question. Who is the first Indian classical musician to perform at United Nation? Okay. So student, the first Pandit Bhim Sen Joshi is uh, related to sitar okay he is he is a sitar player okay pandit jasraj as you know he is a classical singer classical musician okay and ustad zakir hussain as you know he is a famous famous tabla player right for this particular question ms subla subha lakshmi she is a classical singer and she is the first indian who did performance at United Nation. She is also Bharat Ratan in 1998. Okay, so she is a Bharat Ratan as well. So option D, option 4, MS Subalakshmi is the right answer. Okay, let's see the next question. Google computing program AlphaGo is related to which of the following? Okay, so as you know, uh, Google is a very famous tech company and uh, previously in year 2016 uh, this program AlphaGo is actually a board a game of china okay so it is based on artificial intelligence and as you know this uh, google is a company and the uh, chairman and the founders are sergey brin okay sergey brin so option two is the right answer. Okay, so this AlphaGo is related to board of game of China. Okay, this is related to current affairs. Okay, let's see the next question. The world tallest Jan statue is located in which of the following state? These are the four options. Student, uh, mostly Jan are found in either Maharashtra, Gujarat and MP. Okay, so you can eliminate Karnataka and Uttar Pradesh okay some are there but mostly you will find in Maharashtra and Gujarat okay and in Maharashtra there is 108 feet 108 feet long statue of first Tirthankar that is Rishabh Dev okay Rishabh Dev it is situated in Nasik okay in Nasik Maharashtra and uh, this Jain statue is the tallest Jain statue okay this is a question so option one is the right answer coming to the longest statue of India that is 182 meter that is statue of Liberty okay statue of not Liberty statue of unity okay it is statue of unity it is in Gujarat Kevadia district okay Kevadia district statue of unity 1582 feet okay let's see the next question 
which of the following is non renewable resource okay these are the four option a very simple one as you know solar energy is a renewable coal is non renewable so option 2 is the right answer okay water is again a renewable fisheries is again a renewable so option 2 is the right answer let's see the next question the first railway line was constructed constructed during the rule of which of the following uh, governors or generals okay so student for this particular question as you know lord dalhousie did a lot of work for the india and uh, during his tenure this first rail line was constructed from where bombay to bombay to thane that is approximately 32 km in 1853 the other notable work done by lord dalhousie is the post office okay so post office act he had brought okay so option 1 is the right answer okay let's see about lord Con carnwallis as you know he is known as father of civil service exam father of civil service exam and as you know first governor of bengal is first governor of bengal is lord warren hasting okay and lord bentinck is a very popular governor because he has abolished what sati pratha he has abolished sati pratha just you can note it down okay so option 1 is the right answer it is not option 2 it is option 1 option 1 is the right answer let's see the next question the fundamental object of panchayati raj system is to ensure which among of the following okay so as you know uh, this panchayati raj system was brought under 73rd amendment of indian constitution 73rd amendment of indian constitution which is basically democratic decentralization what does this mean this means the work will be look after by whom panchayats the local government okay so panchayats are basically also known as local government okay so they decide they rule okay and this is basically democratic decentralization okay let's see the next question the first india greenfield greenfield airport has recently commissioned air commercial air operation at what this is from the current affair at that time it is 2016 current affair and the answer for that question was durgapur west bengal and if we see the recent scenario there is manohar parikar airport airport greenfield airport mopa which is in goa okay so this was inaugurated okay so option d is the right answer for this question okay let's see the next question so this is uh, related to the government schemes popular schemes so this dial 100 scheme for battle handling of crime in which of the following state okay so as you know during that tenure up is facing lot of crime uh, things okay so at that time former uh, cm akhilesh yadav has launched this dial 100 scheme okay so option 3 is the right answer it is not option 2 it is option 3 option 3 is the right answer let's see the next question which ministry has recently launched new make in india website again this is from the this was from the current affair in 2016 and uh, as you know ministry of defense at that time made a uh, make in india website okay a very aimful program of the government okay so option 1 was the right answer let's see the next question so the government has decided to withdraw the lpg subsidy for the lpg consumer self or spouse having taxable income more than dash of previous financial year so the answer was 10 lakh okay this again was from the current affair at that time so option 3 was the right answer okay 
let's see the next question it is from the static if shahaja built taj mahal what did hamaida ba banu begum built okay as you know shahaja built taj mahal in the memory of her beloved okay so as you know hamaida binu bagam uh, is the spouse of himayu so she built humayu tom okay so humayu tom was the right answer so okay so gol gumbaj as you know it is in bijapur karnataka okay bijapur karnataka and uh, diwani khas as you know it is one of the chamber in the red fort okay and uh, again it is uh, mainly related to shah jahan and victoria memorial as you know it is in kolkata okay so option 4 is the right answer for this question let's see the next question the word secular was inserted in constitution of india by what act uh this is from the amendment and uh, as you know this secular word was inserted in 42 amendment okay the other words are also inserted like secular was there then socialist socialist was also put in that const amendment okay so 42nd amendment is very popular because all these word were inserted at that time okay let's see the next question how many squares are there in chess board a very simple one as you must have played uh, chess board during your school days okay so there were there were column of 8 and 8 8 rows and 8 columns were there and there were 64 squares in the chess board okay so option 3 was the right answer okay let's see the next question how many spokes are there in chakra of national flag so as you know an, our national flag has chakra in it and uh, it has 24 spokes in it which are in blue color and uh, this was taken from the ashoka ashoka chakra okay ashoka chakra and uh, one more thing it represent the 24 hours of the day okay which symbolize the principle of time okay 24 hours of the day okay so option 2 is the right answer let's see the next question it is from the journal science the function of hemoglobin in the body is what a very simple one as you know the most important function of hemoglobin is transport of oxygen okay so what is hemoglobin basically it is a pigment which is found in the red blood cells so basically it is in the blood so blood has various component like plasma rbc rbc and uh, wbc and one more is there that is called platelets okay so in platelets okay so rbc are the cells and in which this pigment is present which is red in color okay so it is responsible for the transport of oxygen okay so let's see the next question as you know this uh, award is given every year and the first indira gandhi award for international justice and harmony was given to this is very difficult one but the answer for this question was yasir arafat okay so yasir arafat Uh, was the correct answer for this question okay let's see the next question it is from the journal science and a very easy one as you know uh, due to capillary action this absorption of ink uh, by the bloating paper was done okay because of surface tension and other phenomena okay so option 2 is the right answer let's see the next question uh, it is from the science again ozone hole refer to what these are the four option okay remember student the ozone hole hole doesn't represent there is a hole in ozone layer so this is correct incorrect and uh, as you know ozone uh, hole refer to depletion of the thickness of the ozone layer so option 3 is the valid one 
इट इज नॉट डिक्रीज इन ओजोन लेयर इट इज अ डिक्रीज इन थिकनेस ऑफ द ओजोन लेयर सो ऑप्शन थ्री इज द राइट आंसर लेट सी द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वो हैज बीन अवॉर्डेड द सिक्सटी थर्ड दादा साहब फाल के अवार्ड ओके स्टूडेंट दिस क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम द करंट अफेयर इन ईयर टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन एंड द आंसर फॉर दैट टाइम वॉज मनोज कुमार ओके सो मनोज कुमार गॉड दिस दादा साहब फाल के अवार्ड लेट सी द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल बॉडी ओके सो स्टूडेंट ऑल दीज थ्री ऑप्शन यू पी एस सी फाइनेंस कमीशनर एंड नेशनल कमीशन फॉर शेड्यूल कास्ट इट इज फॉर्म अंडर डिफरेंट आर्टिकल लाइक यू पी एस सी इफ यू टेक इट इज मेड बाई आर्टिकल थ्री हंड्रेड फिफ्टीन ऑफ इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन दिस इज फ्रॉम टू एट्टी एंड दिस इज फ्रॉम थ्री थर्टी एट ओके जस्ट रिमेंबर दिस नीति आयोग इट इज नॉट अ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन बॉडी एंड दिस इज द राइट आंसर लेट सी द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इट इज फ्रॉम द इसरो इट सेल्फ सो दिस मास्टर कंट्रोल फैसिलिटीज इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एम सी एफ ओके विच इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर मॉनिटरिंग द जियो स्टेशनरी एंड जियो सेंट्रोल सेटेलाइट लॉन्च बाई इसरो इज लोकेटेड इन वेयर इट इज लोकेटेड इन हासन कर्नाटका ओके इट इज ऑल्सो इन भोपाल सो सेकेंड वन इज इन भोपाल मध्य प्रदेश ओके द फर्स्ट वन इज हसन कर्नाटका एंड इट इज नॉट देर ओके सो ऑप्शन टू इज द राइट आंसर लेट सी द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन आई थिंक दिस इज द लास्ट क्वेश्चन ऑफ दिस सेशन प्रधानमंत्री जनधन योजना वॉज लॉन्च इन इंडिया ऑन वट सो एज यू कैन सी इट इज अगेन फ्रॉम द करंट अफेयर्स एंड द आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन वॉज ट्वेंटी एट ऑगस्ट टू थाउजेंड फोर्टीन ओके this is the current affair at that time okay so don't worry okay so that's it students so we have already covered previous year question for year 2012 and 2014 and in few days we will complete year 2016 previous year question as well okay and we have also made a video on the slippers pattern and everything so you can watch this video it is available in our playlist let's solve pyq is resistant okay so that's it student uh, we will come with uh, next video soon so thank you for watching and have a nice day